Culture Buzz, שלום. My name is Edith Itav Biran, born in Nahariya, living in Nazarat, Nazarat Elite, in uh, urban kibbutz called Mishol. Welcome to Manakat's Museum, the place that used to be the house of Immanuel Katz, that is called Manakat, a, a very well-known painter of the School of Paris. a um, group of artists that gathered in Paris of the beginning of the 20th century and tried to make a revolution in the art world and change the way art works. Um, if you would uh, look at the picture behind me, you can see a beautiful landscape by Manikat himself. You can see how uh, it's abstract and how it combines different colors together to uh, bring a certain atmosphere through the painting. Uh, you can actually see how the brush strokes uh, try to convey a certain kind of pace inside the painting. Um, Manikatz was not the only Jewish painter that worked in the School of Paris. I would like to show you another painting, a painting by Chaim Soutin uh, that is by another Jewish painter of the School of Paris. And you can see the um, amazing differences between the styles of those two painters. We can see that each of the painters of this group tried to have his own unique original style. Soutin's distortion, the colors that doesn't work so harmoniously together, kind of dissonance that has its own special aesthetics. This kind of work was an inspiration for artists from Israel that came to Paris to study uh, how to, revolutionary, to make a revolution in the arts. Um, these artists are presented in an exhibition that we are going to see today. The exhibition is called After the School of Paris, Israeli Art in the 30s and the 40s. and I would like to show you some Israeli art that was influenced by these artists. If you would look at this, these paintings by Tzion Tajer, Sima Slonim, Menachem Shemi, you can clearly see the uh, influence of very well-known modernistic artists that worked in Paris at those days, like Picasso, like Leger. Uh, the influence is very clear, but I must say that those artists, like the artists in Paris, had different styles in their own corpus, because they were trying to examine the language of arts in themselves, not just to learn how they do it in Paris, but to do something new of their own. Um, I would like to show you also some other landscapes made by the same group of artists in Israel. If you would look at this painting, It looks like an avenue in Paris, like uh, the Champs-Élysées or one of the big avenues uh, that are so very well known from the Parisian painting. Um, it seems like a roof of a cathedral and it seems like a, a wide boulevard. And, but if you look closely uh, at the details and if you look Um, on the information about this painting, you will find out this is actually an avenue in Acre and not in, uh, in uh, Paris. And it was ba made by an Israeli artist called Menachem Shemi. So this kind of painting, actually any kind of landscape painting, actually uh, conveys a kind of ideology or a kind of idea. This Acre that looks exactly like Paris tells us about The, um, the intention of those artists, they wanted to bring Paris to Israel, they wanted to make this place before, 20 years before this country was established, pronounced, they wanted to um, make it become more modern, more western, more like Paris. 
um, but at the same time they wanted to make something new and for that I would like to show you another painting. This painting by Yosef Zaritsky shows in a way the um, style that will emerge after the works of the 30s and the 40s. Um, you can see that this beautiful aquarelle of uh, Tel Aviv view doesn't look anymore like a Parisian view, but tries in a very poetic and lyric way to uh, convey the special light and the special settings of the view of the landscape of Israel. Uh, the Ritzky tried to take the idea of renewing the styles of speaking with a language made out of color and tried to uh, give in a way the atmosphere of this place by working with this beautiful uh, aquarelle. This kind of light is not a light that you will see anywhere in the world or for sure not in Europe. Um, so, Yosef Zaritsky afterwards became, and a lot of the artists that are present in, the, in this exhibition, became later on part of a group called New Horizons. New Horizons, or Fakim Chadashim in Hebrew, is a group of artists that is thought to be one of the most important groups of artists in the history of Israeli art. So we can actually see a clue to the next generation of Israeli art inside the art of the 30s and the 40s. Uh, you, can, you are very welcome to visit this exhibition. This exhibition will be open until the end of February. Uh, there are many guided tours that are offered free of charge to the public. Please check our website to see uh, when and, and it is uh, occurring. Um, you are very welcome to visit our museum, changing exhibitions about modernism and Judaism. Thanks a lot and we'll hope to see you in the museum.